Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Heat Press Nation Live. My name is Jared, and I am super excited today because today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite things in the whole wide world, sublimation and white turner transfers. But before we dive in, uh, I have some cool stuff that I want to share with you guys today. Uh, first of all, welcome. Uh, do me a favor, say hi in the chat. I got my buddy Chris. He's back. What's up, Chris? Hey, everyone. I am back, Jared. Yes. Not as sick today, but I still feel it a little bit, but you know, it's getting better. So. Feeling better. Feeling better. Good. Good to mm -hmm. hear. So Chris is feeling better, and he's feeling good enough to answer some of our comments and questions, right? I am. I'm ready to what, what, take, the, take the wheel again. Take the wheel. Yes, sir. Take, yep. No more Ghost of Chris. If you guys watched last week, <laughs> Ghost was here helping us out. Uh, so yeah, you could say hi to Chris. You could say hi to us. Uh, we definitely want to. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, we definitely want to to interact with you guys. If you have any questions about anything uh, that we're doing today, whether it's the processes uh, or you know different things like that, uh, feel free to comment below. We'd love to answer you live. We also have Ronnie in the chat, so even if we don't answer your question live on air. Uh, we can get that to you. I'm not sure if we have a video clip that we're going to play. May thumbs up, thumbs down. Nope, not today. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, all right. So, on to the exciting stuff. We are running a flash discount right now. So, you see right here over my shoulder, you can get 10% off of all heat transfer paper. That's right, all heat transfer paper. You could get 10% off right now by using the code TRANSFERS with an S at the end. Um, so yeah, now this code, it's a flash code over in a flash. And in our case, this flash happens to be ending, let's see, oh, we still have some time. Basically, once we're done with this episode, that code goes bye-bye. Uh, so yeah, so you have about 40-ish minutes. We're usually live for about, what, 40 minutes, Chris? Or so? A little 40, 50, sometimes we'll, we'll go over an hour. Yeah, we'll try to give them some time, right? Some yeah, time yeah, to yeah, use exactly. the code. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna try to give you guys some time uh, to use the code. Uh, yeah, so do that 10% off. Uh, we have a really cool product uh, that I wanna show you, or Chris is gonna show you. Oh yeah, so mm -hmm. Chris is gonna show you a really cool product uh, right now. Um, I'm very excited about it. There's a lot of work that went into making these, believe it or not, they're very small crisp. Why don't you show us, man? All right, so what I have right here in my hands is a swatch. You can get it at heat.press slash swatches. And basically, they just give you a kind of feel for every type of transfer that we carry. We have the Forever Laser Dark, No Cut. We have Nina Soft Stretch, as well as regular vinyls. Uh, we have Sublimation on here with the no hand yes. feel. And it pretty much just gives you like a feeling of what each transfer would be on like on the garment. Yeah. And so that way you can decide how you want to start your business and what type of material you want to get into. Dude, I absolutely love that. So we get lots of questions like, hey, can you send me samples? Can I get a sample? Can I get a sample? If we're getting that question, I know you guys are getting that question from your customers because, hey, they might want to order something, but they don't really know how it's going to feel yet. So right now, these uh, swatch packs are available at heat.press slash swatches, uh, once again. And they're only 10 bucks, And they ship for free, by the way. Um, so yeah, 10 bucks ships for free. This is definitely something that you want to have. Uh, Honestly, if you're if you're starting a t-shirt business and you don't know what transfer method you want to use to print, 10 bucks will save you a lot of heartache because you can actually look and feel at how everything is going to come out um, with these. Uh, so yeah, 10 bucks if you're if you want to see how everything's going to look and feel, or if you want to be able to offer your customer uh, something that they can maybe look and feel. Um, so I'm just waiting for a thumbs up. I think we are going to roll a clip. Uh, yes, okay, so before we, well, I think I'm gonna let the video speak for itself. There's one more really new, really huge thing from your pals here at Heat Press Nation that we are super excited to launch. Now, a lot of work went into these swatches, a heck of a lot of work went into uh, what's about to uh, show up, so let's take a look. Become a Sublimation Master with the Sublimation Masterclass presented by Heat Press Nation. 
This online course contains over eight hours of exclusive content packed with valuable information and zero fluff. In this masterclass, you're gonna learn how to select the right equipment, receive thorough instruction on relevant products and processes, and gain valuable business insight. With your purchase, you'll have unlimited access to our exceptional lessons and demos, which are developed and curated by industry professionals with years of experience. This exclusive sublimation masterclass is available for $500, but is included for free with select Sawgrass printer bundles available at heatpressnation.com. For more information, visit heatpressnation.com slash sublimation masterclass. <laughs> oh, I feel like you. I should watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the big one, man. The HPN Sublimation Masterclass. Uh, honestly, like, I am so glad to finally have that out because I know there's a lot of you guys out there who you want to get started, you want to do sublimation, uh, but you just need that extra boost, you need that extra help. Um, or um, you have your sublimation equipment and you just don't know what to do. So it is available separately. But what's really cool is that when you purchase select new sawgrass bundles, actually going to be included for free to make sure that you get started off on the absolute best foot possible. So yeah, that's the uh, HPN Sublimation Masterclass. We're really excited about that one. Okay, uh, so we talked about the flash discount code, we talked about the new swatch books, the new masterclass, lots of cool stuff going down here at Heat Press Nation. Uh, we do have a giveaway today. Somebody is going to win a master class. Yes, you heard me right. Now, the master class, if you go to our site right now, if you want to buy it separately, it's actually $500. Somebody today is going to win the master class. You're going to have free, unlimited full access to that master class. You're going to get that for free. Uh, so we're going to be giving that away at the end of today's broadcast. Make sure you stay tuned. But for now, or I should say to start off with, um, we're going to be talking about white toner versus sublimation. Uh, this is a really interesting topic because, you know, here at Heat Press Nation, we don't believe that there's one print method for everybody, just the right print method for you and for what you want to do. Uh, so first of all, let's just talk about really quick, what is sublimation? Um, so sublimation, and you see it there on your screen, so if you know how to read, I'll, I'll let you read that. Uh, but really, sublimation, in short, you see it there on your screen. The special printer uses a special sublimation ink. When that ink gets heated up, it turns into a gas dye, and the pressure from the heat press forces that dye onto your substrate or your, your blank item. Um, so it's very simple. Now, this process, it does allow you to have zero hand or feel. So if we're going to talk about really quick the pros and cons of sublimation, the pros, you're going to get vibrant and permanent transfers. In my opinion, there is nothing more vibrant or permanent uh, than a sublimation transfer anywhere. So sublimation, it is top of the line when it comes to that. Uh, you're going to get soft and breathable prints. Only the ink is transferring onto the garment. There's no films. There's no adhesives. It's literally just the ink. Um, you get full color printing, which means intricate patterns, gradients, and unlimited color variations. So if you could print it in CMYK. You can get it on your shirt, and I say that because, you know, your printer doesn't have, like, glitter paint in it, so, you know, obviously, you know, that's an issue. Uh, also, you know, while you could do fluorescent-looking images, it's not truly fluorescent, so there's a couple things submission can't do, but, you know, again, if you could print it in CMYK, meaning photos, gradients, all sorts of intricate special designs, that has you covered. There's a, it says wide variety. I want to correct that and say, gigantic freaking variety of sublimation blanks. There are so many things that you could sublimate. And then there's no cutting or weeding on compatible substrates. Now, what does that mean? Basically, when you're doing what we call direct sublimation, where the ink goes straight into the blank, no cutting or weeding. Nowadays, we do have a few specialty projects, uh, products, I should say, like uh, Sublimation HTV. That one, there's a little cutting and weeding, but for direct sublimation, yeah, no cutting, no weeding. It's beautiful. Now, I do want to be fully transparent with you. So here are the cons. Garments do have to be light colored and poly rich. On screen, you see it says 65% plus. That's what we recommend if you still want it to look good. Um, you can sublimate onto a white 50-50 cotton poly shirt, but at 50-50, like your colors are going to fade after the first wash, like for sure. Um, so that's going to give you like a vintage look. 
I think 65% is a pretty solid blend minimum. And of course, once you get to 100% polyester, beautiful. It is, it is absolutely fantastic. If you've been following us here at Heat Press Nation Live, you know exactly what I mean. That stuff looks amazing. Um, now, another uh, con I would say is that you, know, you cannot sublimate onto cotton directly. Um, so if it's 100% cotton, <clears throat> it's not gonna work. If you, and we've done it before. If you sublimate onto a 100% cotton shirt, uh, after the first wash, it's like almost completely gone. Like it looks like a stain. It looks like somebody stained your t-shirt. Um, so yeah, not gonna fly. Also non-textile substrates, meaning your hard surface products, like your coffee mugs, uh, like your photo panels, those have to be specially coated. They're gonna look amazing. Uh, as you've seen here on, on Heat Press Nation Live and all of our videos, the photo panels, like um, the, the one that Chris does, the, uh, the mugs that we've done a million times, dude, look fantastic. Those are all specially coded for sublimation. All right, and I'm kind of breezing through these for more for a more in depth look. Of course, head on over to our YouTube channel, check out our videos. We have so much content revolving around this. But now let's talk about white toner printing. Now, white toner uses a special technique um, where white toner uh, creates opaque and vibrant prints on dark colored or transparent materials. Let me explain real quick how that works. So you have your printer, right? Now it's gonna print on it. Actually, Chris, why don't you hold that up? Do a little show and tell for the people. So Chris is gonna show you guys a print that we did. There's like a couple there. There we go. So basically your white toner printer is gonna work very, very similar to DTF. In fact, some, some would even consider this white toner DTF. It's, the process is so similar. Let me explain what I mean. You're gonna print directly onto that clear piece of transfer media and then on the back, and I'll actually show you that in a minute, um, or here, actually, Chris, there you go. Thank you. So one sheet, you have your printout, right? And on that printout, there is a white base layer. Now, if you guys know anything about sublimation or any other printer, really, you know those printers don't print white. This white toner printer does print white. And then to get the adhesive onto the print, that's what that second sheet is for. So that second sheet has all the adhesive on it, and I'm gonna show you in a minute how that works, but basically you heat press those together, and the adhesive sticks only to the print, which means that there's no cutting, no weeding on there. So pros and cons, uh, like I said, the white toner, it's gonna to print in white, um, which means that you can put it onto any color garment. If you guys know sublimation, you can't do dark garments. With a white toner printer, the color of your garment is not an issue whatsoever. Um, you also are gonna be compatible with so many more materials. White toner prints are gonna be working with cotton, polyester, blends, denim, leather, wood, metal, acrylic, glass, mylar, and more. That's a mouthful, huh? Um, white toner is gonna be toner-based. Now toner is dry, so that means that there's little to, almost, we say almost zero maintenance, and there's no clogged print heads. Clogged print heads, that's a thing of the past, baby, when, it, when you have white toner. Uh, also, your non-textile substrates, meaning your hard surface items, they don't need to be specially coated. So right here, Chris has a coffee mug that we did with a paper called Forever Multitrans. And look how cute that little puppy is. I love little puppies. Oh, this one might be better, actually. Yeah, that, that mug, that's like a regular Walmart mug. That's just a plain black mug. And you see how we have white on there? You see all those bright colors? That's impossible with sublimation. Um, but with our white toner printer, and our special hard surface transfer media. Home is where the dog is. That's a cute little dog. So cute. I feel like that dog's a brat though. You think so? Yeah, I don't think like that dog's very cuddly. Like you think he just sleeps wherever he wants to? Yeah. He goes wherever he wants to? Yeah, like, and then like, you know, like when your friends come over, like pees on their shoe. Oh yeah. That's... Starts barking at the door before they even come Yeah, in. cool dog, but you know, mm -hmm. cute dog. Anyways. I have dog trauma, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, what we're we talking about, oh yeah, so the hard surfaces, you could use any hard surface. If you could heat press it, you could customize it. That simple. Also, the cartridges are very high yield. You're gonna get a gazillion, I don't know, I don't want exaggeration. You're gonna get a bunch, I was about to say gazillion, which is not even a real number. But you get hundreds and hundreds, sometimes even thousands, depending on obviously your print coverage. Um, but you get hundreds and hundreds, possibly even thousands of prints per toner cartridge 
Uh, your cost per print is dramatically lower than what you're gonna do with sublimation, DTF, DTG. Like when it comes to toner, um, your cost per print is so, so low. I love it. So now here are kind of the cons. Um, higher startup costs. The, sublimation, the white toner printers are considerably more expensive than sublimation. We're not gonna lie to you. Um, also, the two-step process when pressing onto dark garments. I'm gonna demonstrate that two-step process right now. Um, but you know, with sublimation, you print it, you press it, you're done. With white toner, uh, you print it, you press the adhesive, wait a little bit, then press the shirt, and then you're done. So there's, there is an extra step for dark garments, but hey, you're doing dark cotton. So to me, not really a con so much because it really opens up so much more. Anyways, uh, there's a process called rasterization that is needed for best results. That's a whole other video. We actually have a video on our YouTube channel on why you need to rasterize your prints. I say go check out that video um, because it's able to go into much more depth uh, than what I can talk about right now. Of course, if you have specific questions, drop them in the comments below. Actually, Chris, if you could start pulling up some, I, I, I feel in my spirit, there are some uh, questions coming in. So interrupt me at any time. Also, I got one from con. Brenda oh, there right we go. Now. Yeah. yeah. So Brenda is wondering, what is the washability of the white toner? Prints? That is a great, great question. And for that, uh, we're gonna go to our close-up cam. I is, is, uh, is the heat press cam ready? Yes, okay, so I did this last week and I'm gonna see if this works this week. All right, so you see this shirt right here? I've already washed this shirt about a dozen times and it looks fantastic. This feels, this is white toner. Feels amazing. Very, very soft. And it looks great. So yeah, so you see that there's like no cracking, no peeling, no anything. That's at a dozen. Um, and that's because this is rasterized, which I don't if you noticed, there's like little tiny, tiny holes in the graphic. That's rasterization. Um, but yeah, this thing is is already at a dozen wash and washes going really strong. Um, so yeah, I think this is gonna last me a really, really long time. Uh, Chris from Forever was here last week or two weeks ago, and it, depending on the graphic, um, you can get anywhere from like 20 to 35 washes before showing signs of where like cracking or anything like that. If you wash it in like cool water, gentle cycle and hang dry it, it'll last like a really, 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 really long time. Um, yeah, so there's different things you could do. You could rasterize the graphic. Uh, you could do what we call ink removal where you knock out a color uh, actually, let me come back. I'll show you what I mean. So on this t-shirt, right? The black of the, this is actually the black of my t-shirt. So you see this black tire right here? That's actually just my t-shirt. I removed the black ink from this graphic. Let the t-shirt come through. And then, I don't know if you could see those holes. You probably didn't even notice these little holes until I came to this close-up camera. So yeah, so those are different steps. Uh, ink removal is really good because it saves you money on your toner, and it makes this like super, super duper soft. This shirt, I love it. Um, this is an AS Color shirt. Shout out to AS Color, Wyatt. He was on the podcast a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, so really long lasting. Um, which brings me to the last con of white toner. Artwork prep is required. Yes, for you're gonna have to learn a little bit of the software to learn how to process your artwork to make it look and feel as good as possible, like how I rendered those tiny little perforations in my graphic and how I knocked out the black. That's how I got this, honestly, this insanely wearable, soft, good looking. I think this shirt looks great. I think it's, it's and it's gigantic print too, by the way. This is a triple X t-shirt I'm wearing. It so. looks good quality. Like it doesn't have, sometimes when you look at some shirts that are made like not with white toner, like made of other materials, yeah. they'll have like a glossy kind of like fake look to it. Yeah, yeah. But that shirt looks really good. I'm not sure if it's because you rasterized it, which made it more like... Like just kind of softer. Yeah, yeah more matte I, I think so. kind of, but it looks really nice. Yeah, to me this, I would for sure stand behind this shirt as a retail quality shirt. Like mm -hmm. this, especially after being able to wear it and wash it myself and see yeah. how it plays. Like, I'm a big fan. And this is uh, Forever Laser Dark, which is what we're going to be demoing. How would you compare the, the white toner washability to sublimation? Okay, so sublimation, uh, and actually that's that's a great segue into our into the part side by side. Um, so, and it's not listed here. So first, I'm going to start off by saying 
Oh, what was your question again? You said how would you compare? Oh, the, the washability. washability. Yeah. So nothing is going to beat sublimation on washability. If you're sublimating onto a 100% polyester garment, uh, nothing will outlast that. Not screen, not anything. The because you're dyeing the fabric, it's going to last as long as the shirt does. So nothing's going to beat sublimation. The problem is not everybody wants to wear a white polyester shirt. Um, so now, if you were to sublimate onto a black shirt, well, this is going to win because you're going to actually see it. So no one's going to, you know, it's, it's kind of tough to compare the two because you can't submit onto a black cotton shirt. So when it comes to black cotton, this is going to be one of the longest lasting transfers out there because I did the artwork preparation for it. Um, but this is, this is a really great, great transfer. Okay. Uh, and so, and if we're already comparing the two, you know, this, let's talk about starting costs. So, I mean, you could get a Sawgrass SG500 for 574. Now that's going to come with a starter inks, which is not a lot of ink. I recommend getting the uh, standard ink, which is brings the price up to like 622. Um, the unit at iColor 560, which is a legal size printer, eight and a half by 14, uh, that's 3,995. So it is considerably more, you know, it, it is more, don't get me wrong, uh, but you could, you know, depending on what you need it for, that's what you're gonna choose. Uh, substrates, let's talk about substrates. With the Sawgrass or any sublimation printer, uh, you're going to be doing, you know, light polyester and coated hard substrates, basically sublimation blanks. Uh, that's what it's meant for. That's what it's best for. If you're going to be using white toner printers, like the Union at iColor 560, any color garment, you could use cotton, polyester, leather, blends, and uncoated substrates. So you have the bigger variety of blank items that you could work with. Uh, the sawgrass, the transfer is going to be ink infused onto the fabric, making it the softest, most permanent transfer on the market. Uh, whereas with the white toner, the toner is going to sit on top of your garment like virtually every other transfer. Your screen print ink, unless you're doing like a discharge or water base, that's sitting on the top. Your vinyl, uh, your plastisol, your supercolor, your DTF, your DTG, those are all sitting on top. So white toner is not alone in there. It's all going to be sitting on top. Um, the maintenance. Sawgrass does do a daily self maintenance. If you're using a conversion printer, like an Epson or something, you're actually having to do your own maintenance on your sublimation printer. Now, the white toner, this is what's beautiful about white toner. So you could get your white toner, print out a bunch of stuff, put it in your closet for a few months, come back, and it's ready to print. There's close, we say close to zero maintenance required on the, uh, did I say sawgrass? I meant to say white toner printer uh, for that. Close to zero maintenance on your white toner printer. Um, sawgrass, of course, is its own self maintenance, but you have to make sure it's left on. Can't perform self maintenance if it's off, right? Um, but with the white toner printers, that's the one. White toner, put it in your closet for a few months, bring it out, and it's ready to print again. That's really big because I know there's a lot of people out there who, this is not your full-time job. You, there's a lot of seasonal businesses that only really need the printer every October through December, right? And then it's just sitting for the, for the eight months out of the year, the off-season, right? White toner would be a great uh, recommendation because you're not buying a new printer every year. Uh, and here's a big one, Prince White. Sawgrass, no. Uh, sublimation in general, the, no white ink. There's no white sublimation ink. So sublimation in general... You're not printing onto dark, you're not printing directly onto dark anything. Whereas with the white toner printers, yes, that's what they're designed for. Uh, Self-weeding, so with the sawgrass, uh, yes, with compatible substrates. Uh, yeah, so sawgrass, again, if you're going directly onto the substrate, there's no uh, weeding. Uh, with the white toner printers, yeah, uh, the, the transfers, there's, it's a two-step process, but still you're not weeding and cutting all of the intricate little details. Um, so yeah, so here's how you can amplify your business with sublimation and white toner printing. Um, I think the key here for either uh, setup is you want to become a one-stop decoration business. Now, if you have both sublimation and white toner, you are going to be unstoppable because you're going to have an expanded product range. You're going to have enhanced design options. Improved workflow efficiency, what the heck does that mean? That means that when you get a job request, you don't have to tell them, wait, let me see if I can. 
Because you know you can. Somebody comes to you with a black t-shirt and all you have is a sublimation printer, you have to pause and say, wait, hold on. You gotta go price out. Wait, okay, well, I'm gonna need easy color, um, but then I need to cut it out with my vinyl cutter. So then you, you have to like kind of pause, calculate all these extra steps. Whereas if white toner printer, you could be like, oh yeah, boom, boom, boom. You already know your pricing for that. Um, number four, you're gonna have a competitive advantage. Yes, the more you're able to offer your customers, the more reasons they have to come to you and not the shop down the street. And five, yeah, we all wanna make some money. None of us are doing this for free. Uh, none of us are doing it just because we like burning ourselves on the heat press. <laughs> uh, increased revenue potential, of course. You know, it's not all about making money. Obviously, I have a really fun time doing this. Um, but if I wasn't getting paid, I probably wouldn't be here. I'd out, be out earning money to feed my family. And I know it's the same for you out there. Uh, so that's the great thing about buying uh, this equipment, investing in white toner, in sublimation, because that is gonna produce a return to help you live a better life. Maybe it's not your full-time gig, maybe it's part-time, but hey, maybe it's paying your car note every month. Maybe it's putting you on vacation every year. Maybe that's how you're affording your Hawaii trip, like I'm trying to do this year. Uh, so yeah, number five. Um, and then the last thing I wanna say um, is we do have, and I should just reiterate, then we're gonna get to all your questions. I know I've been talking a lot. Don't worry, we still got giveaways. Uh, we still have a few demos that we're gonna be doing. Um, but before I let you go, I gotta remind you about the Sublimation Masterclass that we just released. Sublimation is such a huge world. There are so many things, so many different aspects to sublimation and sublimation businesses that we had to put together a masterclass to just kind of gather all that information organize it in a way that anyone can go through the Sublimation Masterclass and come out a pro. Um, so yeah, check it out. There's seven modules, meaning seven different uh, topics, over eight hours of videos. There's like, I think 54 or, oh yeah, 54 videos in total, 54 classes that you could go through at your own pace. There's no rush. Um, you can go through at your own pace. Um, you do have after class assistance. So if you have questions still, uh, having the masterclass will give you access to the uh, my expert team here at Heat Press Nation. Uh, and there's a lot, so you can enroll today at heatpressnation.com slash sublimation masterclass. Whew, that's a lot of words. That's a lot of words coming out of my mouth. You got through mouth. it. You got through <laughs> it. <laughs> so if you have any questions at all, I'm going to get prepared for a little quick demonstration right here. Um, but if you have any questions at all, pop those into the chat, whether you're watching live on Facebook or YouTube, I would love to answer your questions. Uh, I don't know if we have any ready to rock and roll right now. Any questions? I might be able to find some. What cool. software do you use to create your transfers? And what software does the white toner printer use? That's a great question. So all of our white toners are gonna come with a special RIP program. RIP stands for Raster Image Processing um, or Processor. There are, all of our white toner printers will come with that RIP software. And uh, to create your graphics, you could do it in either, pretty much almost any kind. You could do raster image based programs like Photoshop or like a GIMP or Affinity Photo. Or you can even use um, vector based programs like Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW, Inkscape. And you know, heck, if you have the pro version of Canva, uh, you know, depending on how big of a resolution you're able to do, you could even do in Canva, as long as you have like a transparent background, you're good to go. I, I don't totally recommend Canva. Uh, you should be using pro professional programs like Photoshop, but hey, use what you got for now. Uh, but yeah, I do all of my white toner stuff in Adobe Photoshop. So yeah. Perfect. Good question. Well answered, well answered. All right, I say this other question. Um, I saw it earlier, but I can't find the name. It was, how does the feel of white toner compared to screen printing? Ooh, it depends. So screen printing, I would say it depends on the process of screen printing that you're using. Because uh, some screen printers, they use a thick layer of ink. Some of them use a thin mm. layer of ink. There's like so many different types of inks that you could use. And then of course you have stuff like your discharge inks or your water-based inks that are ultra thin and soft. So screen printing, it's like, there's a big variety of, of look and feel but I would say on average, uh, it's comparable. It really is. Now, uh, white toner, if you do process your graphic, I'm gonna come over here and show you one more time. If you do process your graphic, right? Getting close, there we go. 
Like you see how I have these tiny little holes, right? Which you probably didn't even notice until I pointed them out. And I knocked out the black. I removed the black from my graphics so the black of my t-shirt shows on there. If you take steps like that, look, heat press nation. If you take steps like that, you're gonna have an incredibly soft transfer. Now, granted, you're not gonna do that for every job. Not all of your customers are gonna want this. Um, but for the ones you do, you know, it's gonna very, and that's why we say there's not one single print method for everyone, just the right one for you. Uh, so, you know, your customers come to you, having white toner um, is gonna allow you to do so many more jobs. Uh, like what I'm actually about to show you today. So first things first, I know what a lot of people get hung up on is gonna be the two-step process. So this is a print right out of our printer. You see how it's full color? You see how there's white on there? You're not gonna get that white with the submission printer. This is the adhesive that goes onto the print. So I'm gonna show you how this works. It's very simple. You're gonna place your transfer down here on the plate. Uh, and then now you're gonna place it toner side up. So this is not, even though that's like the full color, this is where all the toner is. You see I have my watermark, I'm gonna go watermark side up on here. Now you know what, believe it or not, this, this step that I'm about to do is where most people struggle with their white toner transfers. And so that's why I wanted to show it to you guys. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my pair over here. Now what I like to do, you see I'm putting a little piece of paper in between the two sheets. That's gonna help me start my peel. Okay. So again, this the white sheet on top has all the adhesive and the clear sheet on bottom has all of the print. I have 300 degrees on my heat press. I have 90 seconds on the clock. So uh, this is step one for getting a weedless transfer. Now, you might think, wait, 90 seconds, that's kind of a long time to be pressing something. How long does it take for you to cut it out in your vinyl cutter? How long would it take for you to set up your screens in a screen printer? Even if you have DTG, how long would this image take to print in DTG? So yeah, 90 seconds is long when you consider sublimation, um, but sublimation, you're not doing it on a black t-shirt. So that's one thing we, you gotta kinda consider. So this, I would say without exaggeration, white toner is probably gonna be among the fastest uh, products, I should say concept to print, to finish product, uh, one of the fastest products out there on the market. Um, doing a large, doing this in DTG would have taken a few minutes just to print it. That's not counting my pre-treat, not counting my press time. Doing it in DTF, DTF is a slow printer. Um, and then you have to apply the adhesive, shake it, cure it, press it. So, you know, 90 seconds is not short, but it's for sure not long when you compare it to other processes. I got about 15 seconds. Uh, Chris, if you have any questions, go ahead and fire, fire away. Oh, right can you hand me a glove, the right hand glove? Yeah, of Here you are. Heat press nation glove coming in. All right. What would you say is the cost per sheet for white toner printers for the two-step transfer? That's a great question. Um, if you are using our code today, you're gonna get 10% off of whatever cost I'm about to mention. Slide this out really quick here. And I think I did this backwards. I'm gonna try to not burn myself here. Mount that down. You're gonna peel this hot, so I'm gonna get my starter peel. Slowly, just pull that back. Low and slow. Notice how low I'm keeping it. Right again, I'm gonna slow it down. There we go. Not bad. So now what I've done is two things. I've applied adhesive onto my print and that adhesive actually gives it just a little bit more white opacity on there. So this, I could put this on any color, any color garment. And uh, yeah, I didn't have to cut it, didn't have to weed it. That's ready to go. Now this one, this is not the graphic. I misprinted the size, um, but I didn't want to waste it so I could at least show you how to do it. We're gonna put something a little bit bigger and a little bit nicer onto this t-shirt. So that was the process, that's the A-B process. Now the, the transfer that I'm about to give you, about to show off I should say, that has already been, um, I already did the A-B process on this one off camera. Um, so what I'm about to show you is now the process to getting it on your t-shirt. So here we go, of course, with any shirt, 
you're gonna want to preheat it. So you don't need to clamp it down all the way. You can just kind of hold it in place. I like to, uh, it's a little bit a little humid out here. I'm gonna give it a 10 second um, pre-press. Make sure I have a nice smooth flat surface to work with. And also it's gonna make sure that uh, I don't have any moisture on my garment. And if we look at Chris right here, what he's doing is he's trimming the edges off. Now, I know we say no cut. Um, this is really just to make sure that there's no adhesive on the, did you get the left and right edges too? Um, you hit the, like, oh yeah. Just in case. Oh, cause on, the white toner's on the. Yeah, so uh, basically, so there's no, we say no cutting. Technically you do have to like just trim a little bit of the plastic uh, carrier off the edge just to make sure that there's no like stray adhesive that gets onto your shirt. Um, but that's about it, right? There we go, he's gonna give me one more. This is really the only prep you have to do. Um, if you have a paper slicer, um, which I believe, I don't wanna spoil anything, but I think we're gonna have one of those very soon. Um, if you have a paper slicer, that'll make that much faster. And so this one, this is a little bit bigger. You see this transfer, right? Look how colorful this is. Now I'm gonna put this on the, oh no, this goes on the back of the shirt. Oops. So really quick, let's, there we go. There we go. Now, I already pre-pressed this shirt, so I think the back, uh, pre-press it again. So really quick, I already pre-pressed the whole thing, so. I'm gonna give a smooth service. So now check this out. Now that you see it on the shirt, look at that. It does look a little bit like, like a super color or a DTF. It's not quite the same thing, um, but you know, it, it has a similar look to it. So look at all this fine detail here. Like that's pretty darn amazing. So I'm gonna pop that in. I have a, I have a, a platen cover up here. Um, so I technically don't need to cover it with more parchment, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyways, just because good it's a good practice. Now for this, I only need 30 seconds on the clock, so that should be about enough time. To take another question, maybe? Yeah, of course. What's the difference between the Sublijet ink and Easy Sublet ink? That's a great question. So really quick, they are both sublimation inks. They can both do both. They will both work on your printable vinyl, like Easy Subly. They're both gonna work on your traditional sublimation like coffee mugs, white polyester, and things like that. The difference is Easy Subly ink works best on Easy Subly vinyl, and it still works great on everything else. Sublijet ink works best on everything else, and it'll still look great on Easy Subly vinyl. So they're both great. They just each have their specialty where they're gonna look the best. All right. Another question I have is- Oh, that's, oh, uh, no, no, I got 15 seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. 50, 50. Um, let me release that, oh, sorry. It's going. supposed to be 30 seconds, I forgot to uh, fix the okay. clock. So it's okay. So you see here, now the one thing that is special about uh, white toner is you have to let it completely cool. So Chris, if you could set that down somewhere to let it cool. Thank you. And then, uh, and then we'll, take some, we'll take some questions right now. Lay right here. Yeah. Let it lay flat, like just anywhere. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, so while that's cooling, we're gonna take a couple questions. Yeah, okay. So Marissa is wondering what the largest print size is using white toner. It's a great question. So if you have the, if you have the iColor Pro 800 or the iColor 800, um, that one I believe prints something like 12.8 up to 56 inches or 52 inches long. It has a really large uh, print size. So yeah, 12.8. I think if you have the Creo um, 843-2WT, that one's gonna have a max print size of like 11.8 by, I wanna say it'll also do a 52 inch banner. Now, why you would need something that long, I don't know. Uh, this paper here came off of an 11.8 by 13 inch or 19 inch sheet or something like that. So it basically, basically like 12 by, 19. They use the European sizes, so whatever like an A3, I think, is, mm. um, is that that's what it's going to be. But yeah, pretty big. Okay. Depends on the printer. All right. Um, Julian just 
wants to kind of like summarize what, what was the what was the cost of the sheets? I'm not sure if you. Oh, that's right. That's right. Over it. Yeah. So the smaller sheet of eight and a half by eleven, if you buy a pack of one hundred, I think it's two hundred and fifty bucks. So you're going to be paying about two dollars and fifty cents per sheet. Now that means when we say per sheet, we mean per A and B sheet. So you're going to get if you buy a hundred pack, you're going to get a hundred A sheets and then a hundred of the white B sheet adhesive sheets. So you'll get a hundred of each. That's I believe around two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, these larger ones, I don't have the pricing off the top of my head for these oversized, but I want to say an 11 by 17 is just double what the 8.5 by 11 inch costs. Um, so that's, yeah. So for that large back print, if you bought a pack of 100, I want to say you're paying around $4.75 to $5 per print. Don't quote me on that. I would recommend just head on over to heatpressstation.com. Go to our white toner section. You could see all of our uh, available white toner transfer media. And you're gonna spend less, or I should say, you're gonna get more for your buck. If you buy a 10 pack, you're gonna be paying more for sheet per sheet. But if you buy a 100 pack, of course, you're gonna get a lower price per sheet. So yeah, heat.press slash white toner. Uh, you can check that out and get the pricing on the big ones. But yeah, I know the little ones, eight and a half by 11 is around $2.50 per sheet. The ink cost is nothing. For that ink, I imagine I spent maybe like quarter or less of ink. When you think about how much you're spending on sublimation, how much you're spending on DTG, DTF, your ink savings are pretty significant. Um, yeah, great question. All right. And how about one more before we start the peel? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. cool already. Is so. it cool? Oh, nice, yeah. nice. It's the AC in here. Probably. It's cooling it pretty quick, yeah. 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 So Kat is wondering, does it only print adhering to shirts? Or can you do it on other substrates? Oh, so why don't you show them that mug? All right. So now, now you do need a special paper to get onto hard surfaces like this mug, but with the white toner printer, and this was printed with our Creo 8432WDT printer, um, with the white toner printer, there is a special hard surface transfer paper that you could use for mugs. In fact, I think it was last week or two weeks ago when we had Chris, uh, Chris Godfrey from Forever, mm -hmm. uh, we did tattoos live. Oh, sick. so we, there's actually tattoo paper, temporary tattoo paper that you could use with your white toner printer. So if you want more info on white toner, go back about two episodes, one or two episodes, and you can see all of that. Uh, all so yeah, right. very cool. We're all ready. All right, we're all ready? Okay, yeah. let's go. Do you know how to peel or do you want me to peel? Um, you're like super color, right? No. No. No, okay, here, I'll come by okay. and peel go ahead. real quick. All right, so when we're doing our white toner peels, uh, you're gonna wanna, let me see. That's pretty cool. You're gonna wanna roll it. So I'm gonna get an edge, peel it back, and I'm gonna roll. There we go. You should want to carefully roll it. Roll it off. Dude, look at that. That looks so nice. sick. Nice. That looks so sick. And then I don't know if you can see this. This is just a negative, right, of where the print came up. But yeah. Okay. Very cool. Now, this has a glossy finish right now, which we're going to fix with our repress. So we're going to take that over back to the heat press really quick. Thank you. Christopher. By the way, if you have any questions today, please drop it in the comments below. Would love to get to all of the questions today. So check this out. I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna repress it for about another 20 seconds or so. Alrighty, alrighty. And you can see we're doing this in real time. We're not like rushing anything or skipping any steps. The only thing you're not seeing is the print process, which, oh, that's another pro I do want to say about white toner, uh, is that the print process is very, very fast. This 11 by 17 sheet printed, without exaggeration, in like 10 seconds or so. Like, I don't know, like it, it's really quick. And then now, I'm going to hand this back to you, Chris, so you can show it to the camera. Wow. That looks pretty I really sick. I touch it, yeah. Yeah. I do, oh, I know we've done a lot of shit. sublimation. If we have time, if I can get this heat press up to 385, um, we'll do a sublimation transfer just to kind of compare. Um, but let me see. We'll see if time permits. So that's the other cool thing about white toner is you could press them as low. Some transfers will press as low as 265. Now today I did this at 300. There are some transfers you can press as low as 265, which means uh, that like your polyester stuff, 
the stuff that likes to get scorched, uh, that's not really going to be much of a problem or as much of a problem. Yeah, what do you think, Chris? That that, that looks love really it. cool. I love it, man. Yeah. I mean, the colors are just absolutely beautiful. The feel, it feels high quality. It doesn't feel like any other type of... Yeah, and then the detail, like that little text on the bottom and stuff, like mm -hmm. that's pretty sick. Especially this thin line, mm -hmm. just these, uh, this grid kind of sort of thing. Reading this would be a, comp a nightmare. Yeah, no, right? and the, those little letters would suck. Even, you see the text disguise? Yeah. Like it has like a little half shadow kind of uh -huh. whatever going on. Like that's, like all those details, they just, they suck. The weed. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and then the colors, like you're not going to do that in vinyl. Definitely like not. Like layering all those colors. Yeah, and it's got a gradient to it. Gradient, right? impossible with most other well. transfers. Yeah. Yeah, so again, if we have time, we're going to get, uh, we're going to hopefully get up to submission temperatures. Let's get your questions in, everybody. Also, right. really quick, I do want to pause and say, right now you can take 10% off of your transfer media. So that means your inkjet transfer paper, submission transfer paper, and white toner transfer paper. You can get that 10% uh, off right now. This is a flash discount code. So once we're done with this live stream in about eight minutes, 10 minutes or so, eight to 10 minutes, uh, that, that code will no longer be valid. Uh, yeah, very cool. Um, so really quick, I'm just checking here. I'm checking, I'm, I'm reading the notes. Sorry, really quick. Uh, we do have a giveaway coming up in just a few minutes. Um, but I do want to show off one more thing. So we're comparing white toner to sublimation. Now, here is where sublimation is really going to have a big advantage. I'm going to be honest. And that's going to be hard surfaces. Uh, I should say hard white or light colored hard surfaces. And to show us that, Chris is actually going to take us through a sublimation mug. Uh, so we're going to give him a second. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, no, Chris. Oh, sorry. It's not what it looks like. I just need a. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just need to plug it in. <laughs> but no worries. I want to answer press, everybody's questions with that. It heats this is up not fast. what it looks like. All right, 385, <laughs> 190. All set. We're going to let that heat up. Do you yeah. want to do a quick QA? Yeah, let's oh, hear it. How many have the iPad so you could. Uh, or, yeah, yeah. How about you could prep the mug? All right. Yeah. Here so Chris is going to prep the sublimation mug. Now, if you guys have been following us, you know exactly how that looks. Robin's saying, did you rasterize that print? So the t-shirt today that we made, we did not rasterize it. The one that I'm wearing, we did. So you know, you nice. can see that, okay, in the time it took our Sawgrass SG500 to print that print that Chris is holding, I could have printed like, without exaggeration, like 10 uh, yeah. prints Oof. with my uh, white toner. Uh, Marissa says, does the software come with the machine? Yes, so whether you're buying a sublimation printer or a white toner printer from Heat Press Nation, you will get software with that machine. The Sawgrass printers are going to come with Creative Studio, which is the online design program, and Sawgrass Print Manager, which is the, it, it's basically like a RIP software for your sublimation printer. Now, the white toner printers are going to come with a RIP software um, that'll process all your prints. That way you can get the nice white underbase. There's a lot of controls that go into printing a job. So you definitely have to have that RIP software, which comes with the printers. Cat's uh, Crafting is saying, so once you repress it, it gives it a matte look. Yes, um, we're using parchment paper. We also sell what's called a T seal, the letter T period seal, S-E-A-L. That's a transfer locking sheet. They're actually going to get a really nice matte finish when you use the T seal. And the T seal will also increase the longevity of your transfer. It has like a special coating on it that really just mashes into the t-shirt, makes it really great. But you could use parchment paper like we did, and you'll get that matte finish. Uh, Lee and Vola Mercer and Fina Garcia are curious about the wrap on our heat press. So this is the ProGrade non-stick upper platen protector. It's a little bit of a mouthful. Um, but yeah, so this, it, it's, it's held on by like a spandex thing. And you can see, it's not like hiding anything. It just protects our heat press. This is the same uh, non-stick material. It's like the Teflon sheets that we carry. Uh, actually, we can't say Teflon. It's trademarked. But you know what I mean. Uh, this is the same non-stick material. And really, this is just a protector for the upper platen. You, the other, oh, I don't have it here with me. Um, but the other day, 
Uh, we accidentally pressed the bottom plate. <laughs> I say we, I accidentally pressed the bottom pad of my heat press. We have a bottom pad protector as well. Um, but you'd be surprised how many people accidentally put their transfer upside down and they press the press instead of the shirt. This will protect it, protect it from that and so much more. It also just keeps your press nice and clean, preserves the value, makes it great for a resale. Um, Hazelnut's personalized gifts is can you use the parchment paper again? Yeah, you could use parchment paper until it wrinkles or gets dirty, but it's so cheap, I tear a new one for like every uh, single press. Uh, Vicki Simmons, pricing cost, which is cheaper to start with. Um, so we actually showed a price comparison slide. Uh, you might have to catch the replay to see that again. I don't know if we could bring it up. If not, that's okay. Uh, but we, we had a price comparison slide where it, it is cheaper to get started with sublimation. Uh, but that also kind of plays into what do you want to do? If you want to get started making black cotton t-shirts, I mean, you can if you're using like your submission printer with like Caesar Easy Subly or something, but your process is gonna be pretty long and you're not gonna have the versatility that you're gonna have with white toner. So it's not a 100% fair comparison on price alone, unless you're talking about something like mugs or white polyester. In that case, yeah, if you're doing coffee mugs, that's like your main business focus, dude, go submission all the way. Um, it, it is more affordable to go submission than white toner, that's for sure. Um, but I think it just kind of depends on what you want to do um, I like thinking of that more. Now, some people, you, you want to start a business, but you only have a set budget. In that case, you're going to want to steer your business to match your budget. So if you say, hey, I have a grand to start with, I can't afford, then don't do white toner. If you only have a grand to start with, steer your business to match that budget and say, okay, I have a grand, so I'm going to do, um, right now, oh, we have this amazing bundle. You get the uh, Sawgrass SG500 with the Craft Pro Mug and Tumbler Press. It's like $1,000 or so. Uh, don't quote me on that. But anyways, that bundle, about 1000 bucks, Dude, you're going to do your mugs and tumblers right out of the gate. You can, you, know, you can kind of steer your business towards that if budget really is that big of a limiting factor. Um, Annette Papa is saying, if you don't print with a white underbase, will the transfer still be opaque on glass? Assuming you mean clear glass, no. Because the inks are, are semi-transparent, if you don't have a white underbase on your clear glass, then it will be see-through. Um, so you definitely want to have that white underbase for your image to have like a solid, uh, opaque, non-see-through look. It's a great question. All right, Christopher, are you ready to, ready to go? It's game time. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Transfer is wrapped around my mug, and we're just going to place it in. I already set the pressure, so I don't need to worry about that. And... There she goes. 190 seconds. There we go. We got three minutes for more Q&A. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, Rhea is asking, would you still use the Teflon sheets if you have the protector on your heat press? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Now, this eliminates the need for a Teflon sheet because it is Teflon. Um, but you did see me using the parchment paper. And that's, I don't know, maybe it's just a habit. I guess I didn't really need it. Uh, Julian Nava, what is the price of the heat press machine you were using? That's a great question. I'm not 100% sure. Um, this is the HP and Signature Pro 16 by 24 inch heat press. It has the slide out lower platen and the auto open feature with sure pressure. I know the regular price is around $1,100, $1,200. Is that correct? Okay, that's the auto open. Okay, so with if you get this machine without the uh, sure pressure, um, it's only $869. Is that real? Oh my god, that's such a good deal. So the, the price you're seeing on your screen right now, $869. Uh, the auto open, which is not the pro version, so no sure pressure, but everything else that I showed you, that's on sale right now. That is a wild $869. That's such a good deal. Such a good doggone deal. Uh, Debbie McMillan, uh, you're probably gonna want to call customer service for that one. Um, Valerie Elizabeth says, my heat press came with a black cover for the bottom. Does that stay on? That is 100% up to you. Me personally, you'll notice in our videos, uh, some of my habits make it into our videos. You probably won't ever see one of those black covers on camera because I personally don't like them. And since I do a lot of the videos here, <laughs> I, I always go to all the heat presses and I, and I take them off. There's nothing wrong with it. You could totally leave it on. Uh, I just like that the rubber, the silicone pad, Things don't really slip and slide on them. Uh, some people like having, so we sell one of these uh, Teflon covers for the bottom. 
Some people love having those because the shirts just slide on and off. For some reason, I don't like that. So I like just I like having just the plain silicone pad on bottom. That's me. That's why you don't see any covers on camera. Again, one of my personal habits that just kind of makes it into all the videos. Uh, but you could totally keep it on if you want to. One thing I will say about those black cloth covers is they're not like a million percent durable. They're really just meant uh, to kind of keep everything together when we're shipping them. If you want a durable cover, um, you can get the the pro grade uh, nonstick. A uh, uh, lower platen protector. How are we doing on time over there? How much time we got left? We have 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. One more question. Um, oh no, they asked me the poisonous question that gets me in trouble with our vendors. Hazelnut's personalized gift says, which white toner brand do you recommend? I'm going to hand this back to you. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have a preference here, but if I did have a preference, I would probably say the Creo 8432, not because it's so much better, but because that's the press that that's the printer that I trained on. It's the printer uh, that I use the most, and so just as a creature of habit, that's the one that I happen to love. No shade to eye color. I love eye color so much. Please don't fire me, eye color. All right, Christopher, check that out. A little steamy today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gonna need a firefighter in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Let's yeah. go for the peel. Oh, uh, let's give it a few seconds. Give it a few seconds. No yeah. Problem. I could I could see from here that it, you got a nice clean transfer on that. That looks great. All right. Yeah. So that's the cool thing about uh, sublimation is that like you just print and press, mm -hmm. um, and then when Chris peels it, I'll make another point about that. Uh, do we got any more questions while we wait for that to cool down? Let's see. Have you already answered what's the price for the iColor Pro? Oh, the iColor Pro. Yeah. So the iColor Pro, I believe, is like 10 grand. 10 grand. Yeah, the iColor 800 Pro. So that's like the yeah. biggest, gnarliest white toner printer that we carry. The, the dip, there's the iColor 800 and the 800 Pro. The only difference between those two is the 800 has a one year warranty and no um, storage rolling cart stand. The 800 Pro has a two year warranty and it comes with a rolling uh, cart stand. Um, that's the difference. So it's the same printer, just slight different feature between the 800 and the 800 Pro. That's a beast. That's a beast of a white toner printer. If I had the money in the space, I'd get one like tonight or tomorrow or something. Uh, really, really amazing printer. It's gigantic and it's beautiful. Um, really quick, while we wait for that to cool, let me show you, we're close enough in temperature to where I could show off uh, a sublimation. So, now I was talking about white toner right now and how just quick and easy and blah, blah, blah. I will say this to the advantage of sublimation. Sublimation is gonna be quicker. It is gonna be easier. It is gonna be softer. It is gonna be more permanent. And it is gonna be on white polyester. So here's the thing, if you're cool with that, if you're cool with white polyester, don't, don't even ask about white toner. If you like, if you're cool with white poly, if you're like, if you know that you can get your customers sold on white poly, dude, run, do not walk, run to heatpressnation.com and buy yourself a sawgrass sublimation printer. As you're about to see, all we did was print it. There's no two-step process. There's no A-B transfer. You just put the sheet on the shirt, cover it with some parchment, and in about 60 seconds, you have a complete finished product. Now, as you saw, with the white toner shirt, it took me, there was a 90-second press to fuse the adhesive to the image. There was another 30-second press to fuse the transfer to the T-shirt, and there was another 20-second press to finish it and give it, give it the matte finish and seal the edges on my transfer. It, now the print is fast. I got that thing printed in like 10 seconds. Um, so, but in total we have, you know, I would say it takes, if you're doing one t-shirt, you'll have it done in about five minutes or less. Um, if we're doing one sublimation t-shirt, you'll have it done in about, well, the print is a little slow. It takes about one minute to print. I don't know, you'll have it done in like three minutes. So, you know, if we're doing one shirt versus one shirt, I suppose sublimation would be a little bit faster. 
Um, it can be a heck of a lot softer. And again, it's not a perfect comparison, again, because we're talking different colors and different materials. But if you're someone who's just sold on processes, then yeah, sublimation process. Now this one, I'm just gonna whoop. Nice. Oh, dude. Dude, this graphic looks great on white or black. Obviously, we modified a little bit, so instead of the white grid, because we're not going on a white shirt. Oh, wrong one. Oh, right here. Chris, there he is. Thank you. Because we're going on a white shirt, obviously, we turned the white parts black. We inverted a portion of it. Put them side by side just so we can get a comparison. Yeah, but feel it. Now, how does that feel? Tell the people, bro. This one, you don't feel it. Yeah. You don't feel this one at all. You can feel the other one a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, like, it, this is on top of the shirt, where this is the shirt. Yeah. Right? It, it, is, it is the shirt. <laughs> it, it is the shirt. It becomes... I'm one with the force. The force is one with me. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. Okay, you want, you want to peel that cup and just kind of compare the cups now? Yeah, of course. All right, hopefully this is enhanced. Don't burn yourself like... Ooh. Oh, okay. That looks amazing. Now, if it wasn't so hot, I'd ask you to touch it. Uh-huh. Um, but if we're now, I know now you you see the the color vibrates. There is a difference. Sublimation. I will. I got to give it to sublimation because it doesn't have to print a white underbase. It uses the mug as a white underbase. The colors are going to be more vibrant. Like they're going to be more true to the original. The white toner looks fantastic, and I know we could do a little bit of work on the white toner. Like we could probably boost the saturation a little bit. Um, but believe it or not, that's the exact same dog. It's the exact same image, but because of the nature of sublimation and using a naturally white underbase versus having to print it, it is going to get just full, beautiful resolution. Mm -hmm. so I will give sublimation the kind of the, the one up on there. But here's the thing. We only know that because we're holding them side by side. True. Like if you were giving it to a customer who didn't have any point of reference to compare, it'd be down. I honestly like the white toner one because it has the texture. Yeah, right? it does have a texture, and it is like more matte and mm -hmm. soft. But this one, it's glossy, but I, I like it though. It's, I mean, the colors are great. It's very, yes, like you said, it's very saturated, very vivid, it's very bright. But this, as with the shirt, it's one with the mug. Yeah, right? yeah. And this is on top of the mug. So now, the, cool. now here's the thing: if you go to a souvenir shop and you look at their custom, their souvenir mugs, they're mostly sublimation, so they're mostly white. Uh, if you want a black mug or pretty much any color mug, you got to go white toner. That's the way to go. That's the other thing. Like sublimation, you could never get that done on a black mug. But with white toner, yeah, you have more color options. So again, it's not like one's better than the other. It's just, you know, one has, they, they each have different specialties, different options, and different price points. I know some of you guys are saying, white toner is cool. It's not worth it for me. Other of you are saying, oh my gosh, how can I get one right now? Um, it depends, you know, on, uh, there's so many factors, like, are you, how are you going to use it for your business? How much money can you make? I know some of you guys saw that white toner print and you just saw dollar signs because you know what you could sell to your customers. So again, this is just, I love what Chris, uh, from forever said, he said, it's not, he said, it's a, a preference, not a prejudice. If you like white toner, you don't got to hate sublimation. If you like sublimation, you don't got to hate white toner. Everybody has their thing. And honestly, hey, let's just all make some money, right? All right, do we got any more uh, questions, uh, Christopher? Let's see. Um, a lot of comparisons. We can see. Can you use the Sawgrass software with other sublimation printers? No. No, it's strictly for Sawgrass. Yep. All right. That was a quick one. <laughs> do our refurbished equipment have warranties on them? Yes, they do. So if you buy, so basically at Heat Press Nation, we have a really solid return policy. You have 30 days uh, to return something if it doesn't quite work out for you. As long as you have the original packaging, look, look for the return details on our website, find it there. Cause I don't want to misspeak on that. But we have, a, you have a 30 day return period. So sometimes stuff comes back and it might have a little scratch on it and it might have a little, you know, ding on the side, but it is otherwise in 100% working new condition. So what happens is we get these returns and we have a team of people who will give the machine a full and complete inspection. They'll test it and make sure that it is in 100% working condition. Maybe there's a little scratchy scratch right here. 
a little scratchy scratch right there, but the machine is in otherwise perfect condition. Those are our refurbished machines, and because we're so confident in them, we still back them up with uh, whatever the original manufacturer's warranty might be. For an HPN press, that's gonna be uh, a one-year warranty. In fact, with the HPN presses like uh, Black Series, M-Press, Craft Pro, and Signature, you could still add the additional uh, one, two, or three extra years of my expert protection. Um, for other brands, they're just gonna have the original manufacturer's warranty. For example, I think I saw a Hicks uh, refurb on the site the other day. Uh, it's gonna still have the original Hicks warranty. Uh, you just might find it with a little scratchy scratch or something, something like extremely minor uh, like that. All right, I think one more question? Yeah, let's do it. All right, Annette is wondering, can the white toner mug mm -hmm. go in the dishwasher? Uh, we don't recommend it, but uh, here, let me see that really quick. So I like to do this little test and uh, where, let's see, we have a heat press camera still on? Yes. So look, let's just, let's just do this, all right? All right. So I love this doggy. I'm sorry, doggy. No. Yes. Don't doggy do it. Didn't get it. Don't do it. No. So this is a knife, all right? I literally just scraped that off now with, with the sharp edge of the knife. Now, let me close it. This is a little bit more realistic, all right? We're going to go. This is the plastic handle. That's nothing. So, you know, if you have the sharp edge of a knife, sure, you might scrape something off. But regular wear and tear, just getting nicked. It's gonna take some work to rub and scrape that off. So, you know. You wanna try with this sublimation mug as well? Oh, yeah. See, now that this sublimation mug, that's the thing about sublimation. All right, doggy. Sorry, I don't know why. I don't know who has it out for you. Oh, that is hot still. Let's see. It's not that hot. So, we went sharp edge. Not as much, but literally what happens is, and the reason why it's coming off for both, I should tell you, is that I'm literally scraping off the cup. The right. cup. Yeah. I'm removing the cup itself. Yeah, I'm because it's sharp. It's, <laughs> I'm literally, you could feel it. I chipped into the cup. Now we're gonna do the other test. We're gonna get the plastic handle, right, which is a little bit more realistic, and that's not going anywhere. 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 Sorry, guys. Don't report me to PETA. This is not a real dog. This is a sublimated... This is a picture of a dog. So, yeah. So, if you, like, chip... If you chip off the surface... The surface? The serpent. If you, like, chip off the surface of the mug, of course, the image is going to come with it. But both of them hold up pretty well to a scratch test. Like, a basic scratch test. Um, I will say this, you can dishwash both, um, for the, but because dishwashers heat up, remember heat activates these things. Uh, so because the dishwasher heats up, uh, it's not so much like the abrasion, it's the temperature. So if you're always dishwashing it every time, once a week, every time it gets heated up, when you pair heat and abrasion, that's when it's gonna wear out the most. So for the longest lasting transfers, I do recommend hand washing them. Um, but can you dishwash it? Yeah, should be fine. All right, any other um, questions? Or are, we re are we ready to give some stuff away? I think it's giveaway time. Dude, I think it is giveaway time to, who's doing giveaway, me or you? You do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so today's giveaway, uh, we are going to do a uh, Fast Fingers Challenge. Yes, we're bringing back the Fast Fingers Challenge. Now, here's the prize. We are gonna, because we need to have Actually, let me see, how are we gonna do this? All right, Chris, you monitor, yeah. what do you have open, Facebook or YouTube? I have YouTube open. Okay, I'm gonna open up Facebook. Okay. We're gonna give away two white toner master classes today, you guys. I'm gonna give away one on Facebook. And then Chris is gonna give away one. Uh, oh wait, I don't have Facebook, sorry. Can you switch over to Facebook? I got Let it. Let me do YouTube. We're gonna do a fast fingers challenge. I deleted Facebook off my phone. I don't know why. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I'm loading. Okay, there we go. I'm in. I'm live. I'm in. <laughs> Annette says, no, I didn't mean for you to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got it tested here, right? Okay, so Chris is loading Facebook. I have YouTube open right 
now. So here's what we're gonna do. This is a fast fingers challenge, which means I'm gonna ask you a question and uh, you're gonna come up with the answer. Now, I don't care if you cheat. This isn't really a knowledge test. This is like, who can Google it or go on the website and find out the fastest. Okay, uh, so, um, oh. Uh oh, I just got in trouble. Supposed to be just one master class giveaway. Oh, for both. Right. Uh oh. Ooh. I think I still have to give away two. You think so? I think I do. How come? Are they gonna fire me while I'm live? <laughs> All right. If I get fired, it'll be later. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, Jared. you know what'd be really funny if they came in and said, "Uh, Jared, get off the air. You're fired." Whoa. <laughs> no, like, they like, really did what? fire me while I was Only on the one, air. <laughs> That's crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay, no, but I, I do have to listen to my bosses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give away uh, one, if you wanna win the master class, head on over uh, to YouTube right now. And because I really, I, I was just joking, I really can get fired by the way, you guys. <laughs> I, I kinda wanna push my lip, but I don't wanna do it. Uh, we're gonna give away a, a Heat Press Station gift card on Facebook. So let's actually do one, then two. Just so everybody can have a chance to win. Okay. So right now we're gonna give away a uh, master class on YouTube, and then after that, the gift, the everyone gift will have a second chance to win a gift card on Facebook. Perfect, I like the way that Right, because two master class, $1,000 for on a Tuesday, that's kind of a lot mm. to give away. Yeah, that's more than okay. I'm leaving to your with today, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be I'd rather be watching the lot. <laughs> All right, so because I made a mistake, I said to my bad, you guys. We're going to give away one master class and one $50 gift card. $50 to kind of cover my butt cuz hey. I should have read the notes, mm -hmm. but I didn't. Um all right, so master class right now. Here's what you got to do. I need you to go over to heatpressnation.com and find the retail price for the Sawgrass SG500 Sublimation Printer and Craft Pro Mug Press Bundle. Uh, for, so again, you're gonna go to heatpressnation.com. There's a bundle. It has the Sawgrass SG500 Sublimation Printer and the Craft Pro Mug and Tumble Press with a few extras. There's a bundle and it has a certain price. In fact, I'm gonna read the SKU to you. The SKU for that item is HPN-BND-SAW- I can't read that. Oh, zero one dash one. I think that's it. I think I read that right. It's written pretty small. First person to comment on YouTube uh, wins the prize. Whoa, that was. <laughs> hey, Janice says we could just take the price of the master class out of Jared's paycheck, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you. I don't get paid. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time here. All right. Oh, man. And she is fast. She also was the first comment here in the YouTube live chat. The correct answer. Oh, wait. Is she? Are those, uh, are those zeros? First. Are those zeros at the end of it? Yeah. Okay. Then yes. Yeah. 1099. Yes. That is the correct answer. And by the way, that is an amazing deal. So Janice Lou Santos here with the joke and the fastest fingers of the day. Uh, 1099, that's the correct answer. Janice, you just won the Sublimation Master Class. Yay. Congratulations. Do me a favor, shoot me an email at winner at heatpressnation.com to claim your prize. One more time, Janice, winner at heatpressnation.com. All right, so now to cover my mistake, let's all head over to the Facebook live stream. We're gonna give you a second. Go ahead and you know close this tab, open a new one. Facebook live stream, we're gonna be giving away a $50 gift card. And to do that, I'm gonna need you to find me. Oops, 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 oops. I just have to make sure it's still on sale. Give me one second. Yep, it is still on sale. Okay, this is probably one of the other sickest deals that we have on our site right now. Uh, go to the Heat Press Nation website, heatpressnation.com. Find me the HPN Craft Pro 15 by 15 in the splash of blue and tell me what the sale price is right now. Actually, you're gonna tell Chris. Chris, first answer. You're gonna tell me. Well, I'm gonna show I need to you. Answer first. They can't see it on camera. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want anyone uh, to see it. Okay. So on Facebook, the first one to, to comment that. Got All right. Sense. Make sure you have the right sense, everybody. I'm waiting. Let me see it again. Yeah, with the sense. It has to have the sense. Okay. So first Facebook comment is gonna win 50 bucks. Ooh, but we want the sale price. Okay, the I- The sale I, price, yes. Not basically what, what you would pay if you ordered it today. I think I have a winner. All right, what's the name? 
Art Star Studio. Art Star Studios, heck yeah. Same, same deal, you won a $50 HPN gift card. Congratulations, shoot me an email, winner, or not me, shoot Ronnie an email <laughs> at winner at heatpressnation.com. Ronnie's gonna get you hooked up. And again, Janice, who won our masterclass, congrats. You also gotta send us an email, winner at heatpressnation.com. Guys, sorry for the mess up. I'm obviously not invincible, all right? I make mistakes and, uh, and I push my luck sometimes. <laughs> but honestly, it's all in good fun. We hope you guys had a really, really good time today. Now, before I let you go, we do have some more stuff that we wanna share with you. So don't go nowhere. Christopher with you. All right. Just to recap today's episode, guys, we did Sublimation versus White Toner. If you did want to look into our Sublimation Masterclass that recently just came out, mm -hmm. right, that Janice won and Art Star Studio won today, you can check it out at heatpressnation.com backslash Sublimation Masterclass. Again, it's eight hours worth of material, and it definitely will make you a master at Sublimation. Yes. Now, on the other side, we did White Toner today. Correct? Mm -hmm. So you can learn more about White Toner at heat.press slash white toner. It's heat.press slash white toner. I know I'm gonna spend some time on that website myself because I'm still diving my feet yeah. into it right now. So I do wanna become a master of that as well. And the last thing that we mentioned today was the new product, uh, our swatches. Where did yeah. I put it? I think I have it. I leave that swatch at it's somewhere. It's somewhere around here, but essentially gives you a feeling of all the materials that we carry and all the transfers that we carry and how they would feel onto the garment of your choice. Perfect item for you to get started with your business. If you're not sure what material you want to start out with and what transfer you want to do, get one of these swatch books. It's like $9.99, right? It's free. It's free? Ship, oh, it, it ships free. free. It ships yeah. free. And yeah, a perfect starting point for your business right over here in this little booklet. Yeah. Check that out. Okay. And once again, our half yearly sale is still going on. Check out it, check it out at heat.press slash sale. I believe this Empress Mug Press that we used today oh, yeah. is on sale for around 79. Uh 99. 99. So it's half off though. Half off. Yeah, so it's usually 200. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So 50% off. Right? Yep. Okay. I was doing the math right there <laughs> a little bit. But I want to get one free however you want to. Well, yeah, you buy you two. Know. Yeah, technically. Yeah. yeah, so perfect deal. Half the, half the year sale. Make sure to join in. And if you want the latest deals straight to your phone, make sure to text us at HEAT to 31592. That's HEAT to 31592. You'll get notifications whenever we do giveaways. You'll get notifications whenever we go live. So on and so forth. Also, if you follow our socials, I was told that in the future we will be giving huh? away something. Free stuff? More free stuff. I love free stuff. So if you like free stuff, then make sure to follow all of our socials. And in the next couple of weeks, there might be a little bit of a Ooh. something. A little, little bit of a something. I'm not going to say what it is. You're looking Chris. I, I, do want, I do want to just like get you guys a little bit excited for that. So Why? make sure to follow all of our socials. And lastly... We do demos and giveaways here, me and Jared, and Alex, every, and Ronnie, every Tuesday at 1 p.m. So if you do like giveaways, if you like the sense of community, if you like learning and just, just chatting with us, right? Learning more about how to expand your business, check us out on YouTube and Facebook Live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Lastly, my name is Chris. You guys already know Jared, but you guys make sure to have a great week. <laughs> All right, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Adios, everybody. Take care.